Hi guys, here is my tutorial on how to make a cluster bomb. I was uploading another one, but I accidentally deleted the file, so it didn't finish uploading. Just be quick in this one. This is one, you just gotta watch. Sorry about the video quality, but I have to put my tablet on a piece of wood to be able to record this. I'm just gonna make it out of dirt. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just to show you how to do it. it doesn't matter what I build on. Um, it won't explode as well near water because you know TNT doesn't do damage from water. Right. So I would advise to put in this maximum half a stack. I'll just put half a stack in because, but about 20 is as much as you need to do this. Um, oops, sorry guys. Let me see that. I meant to do that. Right, so then you go... So it makes the rapid fire thing, really, it's just the redstone torches going along there, blocks above them, and redstone going like that. I'm not using the comparator one because it doesn't work in 6.4. And then, do it like that. And it rapid fires them, so when it explodes, they're immune to each other, so they just go everywhere. So I'll show you what marks I've made, that's how it, what it's done, that's the damage it's done. I've made that crater. Um, that one's still working. Oh no, that was the force field. This crater's the a big one. I was doing one on this tower and it blew up here, here, and here. That's how, because it goes everywhere. Um, and I thought I'd do you guys a two in one and show you a force field. So I'll be back when I'm ready. Hi guys, I am back. Time to make the force field. Got everything I need. Of course, you need more in survival, but this is um, in creative, so it makes it much easier. Right. Right, so of course, we start the clock. This one, it's, it's quite a lot different. I have um, I haven't done this for a while, may not work, not guaranteeing anything. Right. So, guys, I, I, I'm not really a noob, I've played it for a while, but I haven't done these much at all. So, here we go. I'll go in survival mode. And look how much damage it does. There's quite a bit of... Oh, no, that's it. It doesn't do damage. It pushes me back. I can't get past there. Watching. I'm going to try and get past. This is me trying to get past. It won't let me go past because the power of the TNT is pushing back with the water. It doesn't blow up everything. And then you have surrounded. So it doesn't blow go everywhere. But make sure, because I've done this before, but I did it wrong. Let me just... Oh, I've got to get around. <coughs> There we go, I stopped it. Whew. Make sure you have a block above it, because otherwise, it just, when it's there, if the block's not there, when one explodes, because they're all together and they're all ignited, it won't just straight away blow them up, so it'll make them fire up into the air and explode all around this area. So, hope you enjoyed. Give it a like or a thumbs up if you did. And I'll probably be back for more Redstone tutorials. See ya. Doom Squad. Oh.